How's it going, everybody? Today, starting off episode six of the One Defense Hardcore at the moment Iron Man. Eventually, that's not going to be what I say. I'm going to be starting off here. I said at the end of the last episode I was going to make some blood runes and make some money. But I kind of figure if we just do one rune crafting level every episode to just start it off, then, you know, six months down the line, we're just going to be 99 rune crafting for free. There it is, 82 rune crafting. So now I can make double astral runes without boosting. Wowee. All right, short intro. Let's get into it. Don't know what we're going to do today. Last episode, we just got a bunch of general overall upgrades for the account. And today, we're going to be pushing at least for more Song of the Elves stuff. So whatever else happens, happens. Sold off all the blood runes from that rune crafting level, and that gives us 4.6 mil to play with. Should be enough to do everything I need to do in this one. And with this inventory done, yes, I know I'm teleporting to Lumbridge, I just like it better. Occasionally you see people fighting over here, and it's kind of cool to watch, but that is 70 construction banked. Don't really remember how much GP we just started with, but kind of glad I don't remember. Finished up making all of the bars. Or 70 smithing as well, and I'm kind of scared because I had to buy a lot of ores for this too. 3.1. God, what did I have? 4.5 or something? I'm going to get about 900k back from Giant's Foundry, 4 mil. Really, all in all, not bad. Also, 50 mil bank value. Let's go knock these two out. Whoops. I did not know that was coming doing farming contracts. I kind of forgot I left it off really close to the level, but... There is uh, 70 farming. It's another requirement knocked off. We're just cruising right now. Kind of spaced out watching a movie here, doing mahogany homes. But we will be going to the wrong place, firstly. And secondly, getting 60 construction. 10 more, halfway. Right? Okay, not quite halfway into the construction grind. And we'll be able to pick ourselves up the plank set. We'll make the second half of this a lot nicer. Here comes another one of the Song of the Elves requirements. We are really on a roll here today. It was all in one day. 70 Hunter. Nice. Almost entirely from birdhouses. I'd have done some chins before. 65 construction. We are getting ever closer. And this is going to be 70 construction. Really don't care much for Mahogany Homes, but that wasn't bad. Just... Finished it all in one go. And with 518 extra points on top of a plank sack, which is collection log. So that'll be nice when I come back in the future. I can work towards the outfit and all that stuff. But that's another one off of the list. Actually, all we're missing now is Herblora in smithing, which smithing is next on the agenda as I made all the bars I need to do it. Whoa, scary. Dang. I was uh, AFK at the end of that sword, but 62 smithing, 1,500 total. That is nice to have those worlds unlocked at level 58. Pretty cool. And 65 smithing. Uh, eight points away from the double ammo mode mold. Not even going to show it. We basically have it. And halfway in terms of levels, two being done. Okay, we're really on a roll here today. There is 70 smithing. Now, if we go to Song of the Elves, the only thing left is Herblore, which is going to take a while. Still on top of farming contracts and all that stuff. I uh, ended up getting a lot more points here than I thought. I already got the mold, or the uh, cannonball thing. Been unlocking these. And I did not realize that the sword molds increase your XP as much as they do, so I've actually got quite a bit of leftover stuff. But, yeah, that's done. Bit of a random one, but a little two for one. I stocked up on some eclectic imp link jars. I only got 250. I, there's very few things I hate more in this game than collecting and opening eclectics for clues, but I found one magpie and I got a rune warhammer, which is a hard clue requirement, so that's a very nice way to zero time that. Okay, that actually went pretty well. I only had to drop two clues out of 14. So 14 mediums. Uh, we want pages and spiked manacles. They're, I really don't care much about other boots. Manacles are like 
biggest upgrade you can get. I mean, pages are nice. I got get like every blessing in the book. No boots. No surprise. 28 mediums though. Getting up there. Decided to come AFK fish doing chambers on the main iron and there's 77 fishing. I think that'll be the last one. I guess it's not really random. I wanted to bank 70 cooking just because having one below 70 in a column is kind of annoying me. So I should have 70 banked right now. And assuming this one doesn't fail, which of course it does, please not two in a row. Okay, there is 70 cooking. Again, no real reason I did this. I honestly don't even know if 70 unlocks anything. No, it doesn't. But it's just a nice number to look at. This whole column is good looking. Not anything super cool, but five Hispories down. See if we get the bucket on 5kc. No bucket. Don't know. I think I got this clue during the fishing grind, and I actually completed it, and it was pretty easy. Ah, uh, It's so sad. I just need blessed chaps, not boots. Oh, man. What we, I didn't even see the rest of the clue. I blacked out. Well, more chaps is nice. When the account eventually dies, I will have an extra pair. And manacles. Ooh, what is that? Guthics. Cool. The miter collection grows. Uh, I was just turning the recorder on because I'm 600 XP away from getting my 75 range, which is cool because it's blowpipe, but there's the warp scepter done. All in all, we killed... About 237? A uh, mix of terror birds and tortoises, but for those of you that don't know, this is like a miniature trident. So that's cool. I guess we'll have to get 75 range somewhere else. For these clips, there is no live audio. I ended up getting the stomach flu, and by day two of it, I was able to kind of sit there in my computer chair and just do stars. It was an awful three days, but 85 mining. And then I opened a few clue scrolls, and I was just baffled that one of them was worth 276 gold. How bad is that? But didn't really get anything cool. And then we did the new quest for Val Varlamore. This was day two. Cool, just finished 10 contracts. Got from 70 all the way about two-fifths of the way through 71, but we get a whistle. So we can teleport back here, and hopefully, I think you can buy these from somewhere, but let's go make that. There's the whistle. Now I can actually check my dang task and teleport back here. I don't know. Let's open 10 of these bags. I know you can get herbs, which is pretty cool. Oh, holy. Oh, you get whistle. Wait. Dang. Some people are going to be mad about that. I think uh, a lot of people already went dry on that. And Huntsman Kit. Okay. We're clogging i guess wow this was very eventful i actually really like these blessed shards too uh just easy afk passive prayer training along the way too this is nice all right and this contract is going to seem very unimportant 72 hunter who cares it's actually pretty big now it gives me the expert tier of rumors i don't know tier three i think it's expert and it also gives a new god what is it sunlight antelope which gives you a new upgrade for the hunter's crossbow which is huge huge then opening a few of these i didn't know you could get duplicate hunter's kits that's kind of weird i don't know why you'd be able to and also the head which looks like a scavid head little bug bug eyed 10 of the uh, new expert contracts now that I can do just to see if I could get the antelopes to not have to do them off task, but I didn't. So we're just going to abandon ship here for a bit and go make our crossbow. And no collection logs from that one. Can't complain. I've been really lucky on these, I think. And here's our two crossbows made. I didn't know you got sunfire splinters from catching these two. That's kind of cool, but... Sunfire, or, uh, sunlight crossbows made. These are plus four range accuracy over a made short bow. And the bolts that you make, which we're going to make, I don't know, maybe a thousand or so right now, 
are higher strength than rune arrows. So this is just like an easy self-sustaining, I guess not really self-sustaining, but just an easy way to uh, get range stuff. So it'd be easier just to show it. So magic short bow, rune arrow, 75, 49 becomes 79, 55, and you can wear shield, which will eventually be armadal book, which is plus eight or plus 10 range accuracy. So it's actually just significantly better. So that's nice. I guess, I mean, it takes 74 crafting to make or fletching to make these, but I still feel awful because I spent so much money and did that whole fletching grind to get to 75 so that I could uh, make magic short bows. <laughs> and here we are now just using these instead. I completely forgot I was 5 XP away from 75 range, but there it is. So now we can use the blowpipe once we eventually get that. Previous BP was like 410 or something. Yeah, look at the difference this thing makes. It's so good when compared to an MSB and normal arrows. I think it's actually on par or just below Amethyst. So, I mean, it's it, this is fantastic update. 72 farming. No bucket. Dang. And I forgot to wear my outfit. Oh, well. Got ourselves 17 easy clues here, which will put us right on 100 just for a nice round number. I figured now that we've got a uh, one-handed range weapon, we are going to want to get the armadal book sooner than later. So might as well. Okay, this is all right. It can't be worse than it was the one time. What in this is 350? Holy wire dig site. I mean, there's literally an amulet for the dang teleport. I actually really like the teleports too. That is nice. And uh, collection log slots. But what we're really after is a vestment robe, top and bottom. I have to imagine it's incredibly unlucky. Duplicate bob shirt? Okay. I have to imagine it's incredibly unlucky to not have any vestment robe tops by this point. Back to back blue wizzy G. I mean, I feel like my easy clues are garbage, but I did get an ancient page that is new. So we have two of those now. That's pretty neat, I suppose. But overall, that was not good. All right. I think that's where we're going to call this video. I apologize it took so long to get out. Like I said, towards the end, I got sick for about five days. I couldn't even play the game. I couldn't get out of bed. So uh, in this one, we did get a decent amount done. We got the new crossbow that came out, which is amazing. We got our warped scepter, and then we've already had our leaf-bladed sword. So our combat triangle's not looking bad. Now, a new season of a game I play on the side starts, well... When this video comes out, it will have been yesterday, and I usually play for about two weeks, so the next video will be delayed yet again, because I will be uh, playing that for probably two weeks. But I will be doing star mining. I also want to chop logs for 82 construction. Right now I have mahoganies planted. I need to wait and replace those with teaks, and then I will be doing that. Probably some rune crafting. I don't know. It's going to be a bunch of AFK stuff, but we will still progress over the next two weeks. But it will take a little bit longer to get a video out, probably a month. So uh, until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, whatever, whatever, whatever. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.